Hello, I'm Brian Farrell, and welcome to Pace IT's session on troubleshooting connectivity with software. Today we're going to talk about what is connectivity software, some connectivity software examples, and then some other software that you can use to troubleshoot connectivity. And with that, let's go ahead and begin this session. And of course, we're going to begin with what is connectivity software? First off, we need to discuss what connectivity is. That's when a program or a device has the ability to connect or link to other programs or devices. Now, connectivity software is a program or utility that is used to establish connectivity or to diagnose or fix a connectivity issue. That is what connectivity software is. Now let's move on to some examples of connectivity software. Now, most modern operating systems come with prepackaged connectivity software that is used to diagnose connectivity issues. In some cases, you can use these utilities from a graphical user interface, but in all cases, you can use these prepackaged utilities from the command prompt, the C prompt. So let's begin with the ping utility. Now, ping is a simple utility that is used to determine if there is connectivity between two nodes. It uses ICMP echo requests, and it sends out a ping, and it waits for a response. There are two basic formats to ping. You can use the IP address, or you can ping the fully qualified domain name. Then there's tracer or traceroute. Now, this utility is used to determine the path between two nodes. Now, Tracer, T-R-A-C-E-R-T, -E is the Windows version, and Traceroute is the Linux, Unix, and OS X version. It, too, uses ICMP echo request with an incrementing time-to-live field to form its queries and get responses from routers. Now, it can be of limited value because many routers have ICMP disabled. It, too, uses the same basic format as ping. Then there's IP config or IF config. IP config is the Windows version and IF config is the Linux, Unix, and OS X version. It's used to determine the IP configuration of a given system. It can also be used to change the IP configuration of a given node. When used to diagnose connectivity issues, look for an incorrect IP address, incorrect subnet mask, incorrect DNS address, or incorrect default gateway address. Then we have ARP. ARP stands for Address Resolution Protocol. Now, ARP is used to correlate IP addresses to MAC addresses. This utility can help to determine when there is an issue with an ARP table on a given node. Then we have NS Lookup. That's Name Server Lookup. This is supported by all major operating systems. It's used to diagnose DNS issues. It can be helpful in determining if a DNS server is having problems. Related to NS lookup is DIG. Now, DIG is a Unix, Linux, and OS command that is very similar to NS lookup. It does use different switch modifiers and returns slightly different results. Then there's the route utility. This is a Windows specific command. It is used to manipulate the routing tables on a Windows OS node. Then we have NBT stat, that's Net BIOS over TCP statistics. Windows implemented the NBT protocol for backwards compatibility. NBT stat is the utility to use if a Net BIOS issue is suspected. And finally, we have Net stat, that's Network Statistics. It's a utility that's used to display protocol statistics and current TCP IP network connections. It's useful for determining if a connection has been made and what the status of that connection is. Now let's move on to some other software that you can use for troubleshooting connectivity. The first piece of software we're going to talk about are throughput testers. These are used to determine the data flow or bandwidth of a network. They can be used internally to test the flow of a LAN, or they can be used externally to test the flow of a WAN connection. They're often used to create a baseline of network performance. Then there are protocol analyzers. 
They're often called packet sniffers. They examine the network behavior at a very basic level. They can examine all of the packets coming into and out of an interface. And if your NIC is capable of promiscuous mode, they can actually examine all of the packets traversing the network. Now, protocol analyzers can be used to see what is consuming network resources. Is a broadcast storm occurring? Is an interface going bad? Now, Wireshark is a common protocol analyzer that is often used, and it's free, so you might want to look it up. Now, that concludes this session on troubleshooting connectivity with software. We talked about what connectivity software is. We talked about some connectivity software that you have available. And then we discussed some other software that you can use to troubleshoot connectivity issues. Now, on behalf of Pace IT, thank you for watching this session. And I'm sure I'll do another one soon.